Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to look at a very very special arrival. This is the Pelican M800 40 years of silver arm. It was released much earlier in the year. I actually got this from Cult Pens in the UK. It took about five days for them to get it to me. Um, so it comes like this. It's nicely packaged. I don't think it's been opened or anything so we're gonna go at it. Here's very inviting. Very nicely padded. There we go. There's a 30 ml dark green ink bottle that comes with pen. Lots of fancy packaging on this pen. For the pen. Examine the bottle of ink. Four years of silver on. It's marketed as dark green. Hopefully, it's dark enough because I have the Edelstein green ink that's not very dark. And actually, the bottle from outside <laughs> kind of looks like this. Back to the pen. Pelican, 40 years of silver on, the usual Pelican beak type clip. Basically what we have come to expect from M800s. Very nice, easy to put on the pocket, easy to remove. In the end, uh, the, the finial actually looks a little bit different than the usual M800, for example the green version it's the more modern version there's only still only one chick but there is green decoration filling and the engraving Let's see how many turns it takes to unscrew this Less than one turn. I would say if you started at 12 o'clock, the pen uncaps at 11, so 11 hours of rotation. Beautiful nib. It's engraved with 40th anniversary, 40 years, 18 karat. All these pens come in medium nib size. Their feet is the same, somewhat oversized feet that we see in other M800s and actually most of the silver on lines. There's a gold plated ring here that's absent in the usual M800s. Comparing this to the regular M800. The nib size is the same. 
the grip section is metal here seems like it's gold plated the ring is missing in the regular m800 the piston knob is seems like it's some kind of metal with gold plating and this is black I actually like the black because it doesn't scratch as easily as the metal and the, the gold plating will not go away I imagine over the years if I were to use this pen the gold plating would wear off on both on all three of these and that has been my experience with previous gold plated pens but I don't know this is a pelican and it may behave differently compared to other manufacturers products so let's see the nib will unscrew not as easily as other M800s but it does screw in pretty nice and securely in hand it feels like any other M800 it actually feels pretty comfortable this is a little bit heavier than the regular M800 owing to the the metal work I'm sure we can find the actual weight of these two easily on the internet I don't have a scale handy but this does feel a little bit heavier but it does not feel as heavy as the the Pelican Toledo Pelican Toledo is much much heavier owing to its metal body work but definitely definitely not unwieldy easy to easy to hold very very comfortable to hold the grip section is actually not slippery it's easy to hold it's not slipping out of my hand and if you are a poster it posts but would I recommend posting this pen probably not because this is going to scratch the the metal here so I would avoid posting the pen we're going to do a little bit of comparing with other pens here we're going to do a quick size comparison with some of other popular pens here we see the Pelican M800 40th anniversary comparing that to Lamy 2000 stainless steel M1000 Pelican this is a Visconti Homo Sapien Crystal Dreams it's been sitting there for a little bit this is Pilot 823 clear demonstrator pelican toledo of course these are essentially the same size you have the mont blanc 149 parker dual fold chevron we have sailor king of pen and we have the infamous lamy safari you see that size is about similar parker 51 vintage here's platinum 3776 with a UEF nib it's compared to Moon Man A1 it's a Mont Blanc 146 solitaire flex nib Mont Blanc Egyptomania Hongdian Chin Dynasty we see that the Hongdian is just a little bit heftier and maybe one or two millimeters taller than the Pelican and 23 year of the rabbit these are about the same height but the Hongdian is more of a cigar shaped pen what a beautiful pen maybe we should talk about this in the next video that's the first fountain pen I ever owned it's a 
German made from 1950s. It's called Tropen Scholar. And just for fun, the White Rabbit. It's one of the Hongdian N23 Year of the Rabbit. I hope that's enough size comparisons. We're going to ink this with the provided dark green ink. Now I do have plenty of experience with M800s and they generally write very reliably. This one is a medium sized nib though. I generally work with fine and extra fine, occasionally broads, <coughs> but we'll see how this one performs. So here we go with our writing sample. I must admit that this medium nib is quite juicy, almost on par with the M1000 line. The Pelican ink looks a little bit darker than their Edelstein green ink that I have. It is a little bit more subdued compared to the Montblanc Irish green. It is a little bit darker than the recent Montblanc Muhammad Ali edition. It's also lighter than the Montblanc homage to Brothers Grimm. But it's a very nice and pleasant green. I don't know about its water resistance, but we'll take a look in a second. Why don't we drop one drop of water there. So, so far so good. I really like the smoothness, the writing experience. This is 25% cotton paper. Why don't we do a witness test? And there's not a lot of line variation. It is a thicker line. It probably makes a 0.6 or 0.7 millimeter. No ink starvation, as one would expect from a Pelican M800. Do a quick wetness test on the Tomar River. Moderately wet. Super, super smooth. I don't feel any scratchiness. Nothing. As advertised and as expected from an M800. Check on our water drop. And the writing, there's a ghost of it left. I'm actually impressed. I wonder if I left this for another 5-10 minutes. This would probably be completely gone. So 
So what things do I like and dislike about this pen? Let's make a pro and con list or like a dislike list. Likes, dislikes, one, looks. I think this pen looks, looks very attractive in line with the usual Pelican green straps edition that they have for most of their Suron lineup. M800, M1000, M600. It is beautiful. I think it's one of the most recognizable pens anywhere we go. A Pelican can be recognized easily. Um, and adding the decorations, including the gold plated piston knob in this gold plated ring makes it just a little bit more attractive. How this will hold up over time, I'm not sure. The pros is the looks, the cons is that it's easily to scratch. Compared to the regular M800, I am expecting that over time it will scratch very quickly. Number two, the writing experience. Of course, the writing experience is just as anticipated and expected from an M800 pen. It's actually a little bit juicier than I expected out of the box. Usually you just do open the tines a little bit with these M800s and work with them a little bit, but even though M800 Hundreds are not known for consistency in terms of their nib quality. Um, in general, they are all very respectable and can easily be tuned to right to your liking. This pen out of the box is beautiful. It, it's not gushing out ink, which is good. Um, so that's definitely a plus. On the minus side, the big elephant in the room. price there's various price points for this pen and I've seen them go anywhere from $1,300 to about $2,300 $2,400 luckily right now because we're approaching Black Friday Cult Pens has this pen 50% off that's how I was able to get one and I'm glad I waited um, because I'm not a collector so I don't get these pens to keep it in the box I write with these and uh, I really wanted to experience holding one of these and writing with them and I think so far from my first impressions I am not disappointed. Very easy to clean. You can just unscrew the, the nib, squirt some water a few times, then you can put the nib in a jar of water and it'll clean itself basically. Um, that's a plus for this pen, but all of these pluses are also true of other M800s. Uh, maybe that looks a little bit different for others. It is a special edition nib. Usually it's easy to find replacement nibs. Only available in medium nib size and you cannot really find replacement nibs for these very easily so those are the three pros and cons there are probably a lot more as I continue using this pen I can do maybe an update in a year or 10 years when the 50th anniversary of Sovereign pen comes out so would I recommend this pen outside of the limited edition status of this pen the regular M800 gives you the same writing experience and unless you have experienced other M800 pens and know that you write like the writing experience and you have spare funds available to buy this pen i would recommend going with the usual m800 i anticipate the usual m800 to be a little bit more durable with use this is heavier for example if you drop this it has a higher chance of shattering versus dropping a regular m800 because it's heavier um also it's more flashy so it's eye-catching and it's can be lost a little bit more easily. If money is not an issue, this is absolutely an amazing pen to buy. If you buy one pen every 10 years and you want to make this that pen that you buy every 10 years and wait for the 50th anniversary, I think that's not the worst idea in the world. Of course, there are much better priced pens that perform equally well compared to the 
Pelican M800 but it's a very special pen so I really like it. I hope that you found this review enlightening and interesting and if you like to see more of my content you can do consider subscribing to my channel and come back for more of similar videos fountain pens ink handwriting and so forth. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye.